Finances in France. This video is primarily for people retired in the US and moving to France, but also for anyone planning to move to France. We cover practical aspects of moving to and living in France with regards to social security retirement checks, bank accounts, credit and debit cards, and currency exchange services. Be sure to check out my other videos on various aspects of French living and moving to France. Social Security If you're retired or will retire in France, you'll need to know how to collect your Social Security retirement checks. While in France, you can still take your Social Security checks, either by keeping a bank in the US and direct depositing there, or arranging with Social Security to deposit in a French bank. Currently, the earliest a person can start receiving Social Security retirement benefits is age 62. Your monthly benefit amount will be different depending on your salary history and the age you start receiving it. Go online to ssa.gov, if you don't have an account, create one, everything is pretty straightforward on their website. French Health and Social Security France has reciprocal social security arrangements with the US and many other countries, thus allowing you to benefit from their subsidized health care before moving to France. You should notify the Social Security Administration of your change of address before you leave. You can report your new address by contacting your nearest SSA field office. Note that you can provide the SSA with a US mailing address instead, so a virtual address satisfies that requirement. Virtual address in the US. Unless you have someone back in the US who is willing to deal with all your mail, you'll need an international mail forwarding service or virtual address in the US. The USPS can forward mail internationally, but it's quite expensive at $21.90 per week. Available services. US Global Mail, physicaladdress.com, and iPostal One. You might be worried about having your income taxed twice, but France does not do that. Still, you will probably need to file tax returns in both the US and France. You can get two accountants, one for your French tax return, and one for your US, and each will take care of it for you. Alternately, there are some accountant firms that are familiar with both US and French tax laws. Suggestions US Accountants Greenback Tax Services, US Accountants to do expat taxes, $485. Expat Focus recommends Bright Tax for U.S. Tax Filing. Fixed, Flat Fees. Single Year Federal Return $429, Additional Years $329, FBAR $99. French Accountants. bank accounts and cards. Why you need this? In general there's no legal requirement for you to have a French bank account before moving, but it is important to get one early in the process. Before applying for your visa and while still in the US you will need to arrange for a temporary home in France, a French bank account and currency service facilitate this. You'll want to transfer US dollars to euros both before and after you move to France. The bank account, along with a currency exchange service are thus necessary and you should get them even before applying for your visa. There are quite a few essential tasks you must complete the first few days after you arrive in France with your visa. If you already have a bank account there, that's one less to worry about. Banks The main banks in France are listed below. Typically you'll need 200 to 500 euros to get an account. Crédit Agricole, BNP Paribas, Société Générale, Caisse d'Épargne, Banque Populaire, Crédit Mutuel, La Banque Postale, Le Crédit Lyonnais. More banking services. Britline. Britline is an English-speaking France bank, partnered with Credit Agricole. You must reside in the UK, Ireland or France. Bread allows a US resident to open an account without a France phone number. Revolut. Revolut accounts in France have a few different fees depending on the plan. Standard, plus, premium, and 
metal. As you can see, depending upon where you live, it can be difficult to get a French bank before moving, but don't let it stop you from moving if you fail to get one. Just apply for French bank accounts after you move. US Cards It's rather rare for French or EU merchants to take American Express, but your MasterCard and Visa credit cards are good. Discover cards are virtually unknown in the EU. Once you have a French bank account, it is advisable to destroy some of your US credit or debit cards that have fees, but there's no harm in keeping the fee-less cards, however, due to high exchange rates and fees from banks, use them in Europe only if you must. Use your French cards when possible. Keeping US Bank Accounts One reason to keep US accounts is that you might have them set up to automatically pay for US-based services like Skype, your email provider, US Global Mail, Rosetta Stone, Pandora, Streaming, Hulu, Paramount, etc. Also, it's wise to have your social security checks deposited in a US bank to avoid exorbitant exchange rates, then use your currency service to transfer to your France bank. Currency Exchange Services You'll need a currency exchange service to move US dollars to euros as efficiently as possible. If you transfer money directly from your US bank to your France account, you'll not only get hit with a service charge, but the bank will give you a painfully poor exchange rate. Some currency exchange services are listed on this page. Reviews. An impressive book. Authoritative, detailed, clear and well laid out. Michael Burke's Retire in France by the Numbers is a gold mine of invaluable information. Absolutely superb. A must-have if you want to retire in France, but I would recommend it also to those who want to live there, even for a short period of time. There is thorough research behind it. This guide gives you a great perspective over the linguistic and administrative subtleties you wouldn't know otherwise if you come from an English-speaking world. This book provides assistance for the most challenging parts of your life in France, buying a property, settling into it, and enjoying your new French life. Highly recommended. The beauty of Retire in France by the Numbers is that it is both well-researched and reassuring as it untangles French bureaucracy. It takes you by the hand and leads you through the process of settling in France, one step at a time.